Good afternoon, dear friends. This film is dedicated to our second journey to Chaozhou. It's taken us a long time to finish this material. It was filmed in the spring of 2013, during the harvest season at Chaozhou. We already have a movie about our first trip to Chaozhou in the fall of 2012, and I strongly advise you to see this one. It's on our channel. This film was made in the spring. We arrived just as the tea harvest was happening. Raw material for high-quality Guangdong oolongs is collected in spring. The production of high-quality tea also happens in spring. Tea in Chaozhou is also harvested in autumn and the summer, but that's a lower-grade ordinary tea. It's called Tai Di Cha. It's cheaper and simpler to make than Gaoshan, high mountain tea that's made only in spring. We paid a visit to our suppliers, who were collecting and producing tea at the peak of the Oolong Mountain. The Oolong Mountain has serpentine roads that spiral up to the top of the mountain. Alongside this road are many small tea farms and factories. There are no large factories in general, and you won't find any mass production here. All the people who live here are involved in tea production, without exception. The higher you go up the mountain, the quality of the tea increases. And what's good about our supplier is that they have their own farm right at the peak of the mountain. Fang Huang Dan Song is a collective name of all oolongs. By analogy with Da Hong Pao, Fang Huang Dan Song, or Lone Bushes from Phoenix Mountain, is the generic name for all oolongs from Chaozhou. Local farmers from this region and inhabitants of Chaozhou generalize their tea as Fang Huang Dan Song or Odong Dan Song, lone bushes from Odong Peak. So when you say this name, it can be associated not only with one variety, but it can be said in general about all of the teas from this place. Therefore they often just call their tea Dan Song. There's a wide range of Guangdong tea varieties. By analogy with Wei Shan Oolongs, there are around 300 well-known tea bush varieties, and also a similar amount of lesser-known rarer varieties. The highest quality tea is picked from old bushes, Lao Song. They're called lone bushes because they are big, almost tree-like, and also they only grow in this region. You can't find them anywhere else. It's interesting that the harvesting process is the same as in Yunnan province. Workers put ladders onto the tree-like bushes and pick the top leaves. As a rule, the pickers are usually elderly women, active and agile babushkas, who pick tea several times a day. Freshly picked tea is immediately spread out on all possible flat surfaces that can be found here, sometimes even on fabric next to roads. However, that's done only for cheaper teas. High-grade tea is never placed next to roads. All the houses here are made of concrete and have flat rooftops on which the tea is laid out to dry. Farmers also build racks for tea trays, and the tea is scattered on these trays. And this is the primary drying under the sun, Shai Gun. When it's about to rain, farmers bring everything inside 
in order to keep the tea dry. The next stage of processing is roasting, smoke drying. I must say that it's remarkable that there are so few electric dryers. Tea is mainly smoke dried on charcoals. Usually every farm where good tea is made has their own oven, where there's a live fire underneath that's used to roast the tea. It's the same process that's been used since ancient times. Right now I'm drinking Yashi Zhen. There's an interesting fact about Yashi Zhen. I believe I've never mentioned it before on video. The literal translation is quite interesting. Ya means duck, Shi means poop, and Shan means aroma. In this case, the precise translation of Zhan is similar to. There's a legend about this name in the Russian internet that supposedly it was called this on purpose in order to prevent it from being exported so that the locals could keep it for themselves. The idea is that duck poop tea sounds unpleasant so no one would buy it. The truth is more simple. In one of the production steps, the tea leaves are a little more dense and slightly shorter than other varieties of Guangdong oolongs. And in one of the processing stages, it is actually a little similar to duck poop. There's a great amount of different varieties of teas in Chaozhou, but only three or four are widespread. These are Mi Lang Zhang, with hints of honey, and Ju Lang Zhang, and Ya Shui Zhang. And the general term is Feng Huang Dang Song. The latter includes many different teas, just like Da Hong Pao has many varieties. You can find very many different teas here. There are also different degrees of roasting, like Zhishan, greenish Guangdong Oolong, and more deeply roasted Guangdong, like Zhougui, Guangdong Zhougui, and Guangdong Shuzhan. There are a lot of different varieties.
It's such a separate world here, so I advise you to try different teas and to study here. And I wish you all pleasant tea parties.